Go to the Tools panel and select the Ellipse tool. Now, of course, you could use any other shape, maybe stars, rectangles, but I'm going with ellipses in this case. And I'm just going to create a very quick ellipse like that, or circle, hold it and shift down. Now it's red, and I'm just going to create multiple reds. So I'm just going to create... Now what I want is three different colours in total. Now I can create multiple very quickly. I'm just doing it very random. Now you could do it, of course, make them all the same shape, same size, etc. Maybe go for stars or some other shape for the other colour. But I'm just creating a, quite a few just circles or dots. Now with that, what I can now do is I'm going to go and just make another one and I'm just going to recolor that. I'm going to go with green, something like the green or another color, blue, etc. And you can do exactly the same. So now you've got, now I don't want them on top particularly, I want them all to be set. You can have them on top of course, perfectly reasonable. So you can do that and you can apply some more. And of course I could create 100, 200, 500. And you can just fill the whole screen with these. However, I'm going to create another color. Now I'm going to go with blue this time. So click down here and go with blue. So blue. And now I'm going to do that again and create some more. Obviously, just keep them at different sizes or whatever you want. Maybe go for ellipses. But just going to create there. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so I've got, now I could add a few more blues, I guess, but that is not the issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to resize that. Because what I'm going to do, hold down the Ultra Option key. And also I'm going to just resize it, make it a bit smaller. Rotate that. And now, of course, like I, say, I could go and add some more blues because I feel there's not enough blues there. And I'm just going to add some more. And you can, of course, add randomly over it so it doesn't look like you're repeating the pattern. So you can create a design like that very quickly. And again, I think that's enough blues now spread throughout that. And again, select them again, hold down the Ultra Option key, duplicate that design, and again, resize. Now, depending on how your machine is, maybe it might be slightly sluggish occasionally. I do notice it does sort of have a second or two thinking about it. But you can see you can do that, and you can rotate it around, just resize that, position it up, maybe make it smaller again. So you can get a whole load of dots of red, green, and blue. And you can see then you've got those there. And you can again resize it, select different ones, maybe select a different batch, hold down the Ultra Option key and just drag again. And so on. Okay, so I've got that design now. And of course I could fill the entire screen. It's, it's, that's not a thing. So I'm just gonna resize that as you can see the design now. Now, what I can do, I can select say the red because what I wanna do is the swatches. Swatches panel we can find in the window menu. So window menu, all of them are in the window menu. So swatches, new swatch. And you can see it's just added there. Go to the blue, or the green in this case, actually. <laughs> selected the wrong one. And I can then go new swatch. Click OK. Go for the blue, and again, new swatch. And there's a reason for that a little bit later. So I've got those now. They're the colours that I'm using throughout this. Now I can, if I want to, quick way of doing it, is go to edit. And with them all selected, I can go to edit colours, recolor with preset, colour library. So I can go there, colour library, and you'll see an option here, library. And I can say document swatches. This is what that is, document swatches. And I can click OK. And you can see what happens. It just produces this green to green, blue to blue, red to red. But there is a reorder, randomly changed. Now, unfortunately, it just changes red to blue. It doesn't randomly create it red or green or blue or whatever. So it just does it randomly. And you can just click. And as you do that, you can see that it all change randomly like that. And you can run through it very rapidly using that. And you can obviously, since there's only three, you're, you're going to get that sort of combination. However, of course, once you've done that, what you can also do, again, you can resize, you can create another one, but you can always, of course, select them. So you decide, you know what, I want that to be red. That one would be red. So you don't have to keep it exactly in the way that you that one to be green and so on. You can look at it and decide, you know what, I want that to be different. However, there is a plugin that's quite useful for this. You can select all of those. So select all of them. And you can go to Randomino. This is from Astute Graphics. You can find it in the window menu and Astute Graphics and Randomino. I've got videos and tutorials about this. Brilliant plugin. Lots and lots of great features. 
You can use color, you can change the opacity, rotation, scale, loads and loads of different things. And you'll notice here, you've got a list, range, so you can make it the whole range. I don't want that because I want these colors. So what I can do, I can go to list. Now at this point, there's nothing in the list. So how do I get them? Well, I've got the swatches, so I can select. Now, if you select them and you've got those selected, it, they will go red. That's not an issue because what I'm, I'm just doing, I'm just selecting those. Then I can say swatches and it puts it in the list. Now what I can do, allow duplicates. So I can actually, if I want to, I can overemphasize the red maybe. But now I can go randomize. And then you can see what happens. It randomizes every single one of them using these colors. So randomize, you can just keep randomizing it. So they all become just changing, they all change. So I mean, sometimes they might stay green. They might stay, because you've only got three colors to choose from. So it just randomly selects one or the other. And you can see that you can get that. And you can do that, of course. Now, say you decide, you know what? I don't want red. Don't want red now. Decide don't want red. So I can select that red. Well, you've got an option now, select. Now, one of the things that the uh, Stuart Graphics one, there's an awful lot. You see stipulism effects, loads of phantasm effects. You've got a lot of additional options here for your select menu. But however, you can go to same fill and color. So same fill and color. So I've selected the red. So all of the reds are selected. So I think, you know what? I don't want red anymore. So I can go over here and I can just click on there. And I can say, you know what? I want green or I want blue or yellow or whatever. You can just change it. Maybe make them all some other color. Now, obviously the swatches are wrong there now, but I'm not doing that randomino anymore. Swatches doesn't matter particularly, but you've got your three colors that's just crazy there. And hold down the ultra option key. And again, you can duplicate that lot and you can do that, drag that down there and rotate it and so on. You can create a variety of different dots and splatter designs using this approach. However, what you can also do is if you've got your color set that you like, you can select those. Say so select a group of them. I'm just selecting the group randomly. Now you could create maybe a brush with that. You could do that. Or you could create a symbol. So you can always go to window. And again, everything's always here. So symbols. And you can, obviously not that those ones, but you can go new symbol. So new symbol and you put it there. So you've got your symbol there. Well, as a symbol, what you can do, you can go over here, symbol sprayer. Select that symbol and you can apply it. And you can see very rapidly, very quickly, you can build up thousands and thousands of dots like that, all with those colors. Now, of course, you know, depending on how you spray it, where you put them, you can make. And also, of course, there's also lots of other. You've got some sizer. You've got rotate, etc. So you can shift them as well. So you can move them around to make them look more random. But that's a way of creating, if you want to fill it with three colored dots, you can do that. Anyway, hope you found this video of interest. Thank you much.